Warning, this is a pest control video and contains footage of animals being shot. If this is likely to offend, then please don't watch. Please see the description below for more information on this video. There's also some links you may find useful. Welcome back. I've got my site and ABL sorted, so I've got straight down on target to get it zeroed. All zeroed, good to go. Just nipped across the livestock farm, I've got one quick job to do. That temporary feeder that I put up is coming down and I put the beast back up. I didn't know how long I was going to be in fixing the beast because the squirrels chewed a massive hole through the side, they ripped all the felt off the top and chewed a hole in the underneath. Luckily all the panels come off independently so all I had to do was unscrew it, snap the glue, put new panels on and fix the felt on the roof. I've made one small change to this, I've put a slope and piece of wood on the front and that's to keep the rain off the nuts and keep the squirrels from sitting on the front of it and on the left hand side because on the right I've got this spinner and I want them sitting on that platform. Job done, all set up, the squirrels are loving it, they're all over it like a tramp on a ham sandwich, and we're good to go. Sitting in the hide, waiting for the squirrels. Beautiful Saturday morning, and I get a video sent on WhatsApp from some madman. Let's play Guess the Welshman. If you know who it is, stick the name below. When I'm sitting in there, I could hear you the clacking noise from a squirrel. And I leaned back, looked up the tree, and you can see him jumping across there. And he's in the branch, if you look carefully. He's watching me when I should be watching him. The hunter becomes the hunted. Climbed back in the hide, kept my head down, and kept quiet. And then, guess what? He made his way over to the feeder. Just watching for a while, make sure he's eating. I'm not concerned about that for his health. I'm just more concerned that he gets in a feeding pattern. So he sits still for when I crack his nut. Just waiting for him to settle down. He's clearly enjoying that breakfast, but it will be his last. I return a week later and you can see the woodland, the grass, the undergrowth all fully established. There's lots of nuts, berries and seeds around and the squirrels are more interested in those at the moment. They're not coming to the feeder. So I'm going to let that feeder effectively dry up and I return in about four to six weeks time. I'll restock it and I will start shooting it again. So this squirrel will be the last for probably about six to eight weeks of this feed, I imagine. Just before we move on, I want to introduce you to a couple of guys. This is a channel I watch regularly on YouTube. And I think you'll love it as much as I do. <laughs> there's there's birds pigeons, everywhere. there's birds. We're gonna have some fun. Hey buddy. Yo. First 10 minutes, two kills at 208 yards. We're a little rusty. <laughs> okay. Three, two, dead. Keith and Norm are 68 whiskey out in the US. Their shooting is second to none. They pull off some astounding long range shots. The link's in the description, check them out. I'm gonna shut up now and let their shooting do the talking. <laughs> yeah, I'm holding zero as well. Three, two, dead. 
bad. Three, two, done. Done, done. We're over on some private land now. Now, there's some building work going on here. The landowner's building some new property and he's just spent a lot of money on some new gardens. And the rabbits in the area are coming in from the fields and they're starting to trash the gardens and get into the foundations of the building. So I said I'd go up and see if I can help cut the numbers down. Now this is footage taken over a couple of weeks. There's not a lot of activity, not a lot of rabbits, but the few that are there need to be culled. I spotted this one from about 50, 60 yards on the thermal. So I stalked into about 32 yards before I took the shot. I took the shot and it went down faster than a Geordie girl. I couldn't figure out what happened there. I was waiting for them to pop back up or jump or kick. But when I went across and had a look, I realised what had happened there. Clipped them right in the back of the head. Severed the spinal cord. Dead on the spot. I'd only just taken that shot and I spotted the giant Easter Bunny in the trees watching me, watching it. Okay, I've just arrived up the dairy farm. I'm gonna have a look around. There's still a bit of daylight around, so I'm gonna have a look around and see if I can find any rats during the day. There's not a lot at the moment at night time. Farmer says he's seen quite a few of them around, so I wanna see if I can get a few of them nailed for him. We were up last week and this friend of his was up with the terriers and we let the dogs out, let them have a look around. We're turning over food troughs, water troughs, lifting up pallets, that sort of thing. There wasn't a whole lot about. But I'll have a look around with the thermal, see what I can do and um, see if I can bag a few more for them. There's a lot of birds about. Yes, birds and foxes. I spotted three this evening. Look at him. There's no shot on here because I'm using that rifle. Just videoing them. Couldn't take a shot on him, but I sure as hell could take a shot on this. May not be able to take the fox, but I can certainly take the rat. E holds him with the Hades. That's finished him off, that's completely ruined his day. I walked just around the corner and I spotted this one in the back of the cattle barn. I broke his face with a Hades too. It wasn't too bad. It was starting to quieten down quite a bit. And I realised why. Look at these little sods. So they're wandering around right in the area that I'm going to be shooting and scaring all the rats off. Someone needs to get up there with an HMR, I think. Sort them out. The my rats. Welcome back to the arable farm. We're going to get straight down to the first shot now. This is in the tool shed when I first visited. Spotted this thing looking at me. So I just explained with a pellet that it's rude to stare. First shot of the evening. Very happy with that. Don't know if you'll agree, but I don't care. The rest of the shots are taken around about the back of the farm here along this roadside. Seem to be a little bit of a rat super highway. He's the second shot of the evening, knocks him straight down. And I thought I was going to get a third on his buddy, but he does a runner. He's not waiting around. He wasn't staying to watch his friend do the disinhibition dance. That's now, so remember, he is dead. The random fang of the nerves is kicking his legs and thrashing his tail. Quick scan around before I move on. Just on the little hill, off to the right hand side, I spot this chap. Now he's having a good sniff around, I'm not sure what he's after. Free feed, most likely. Disappears behind that tree, little sod. Short time later though, he shows his scaly tail. Those two beady eyes in the infrared. Just what I want to see. So I know exactly where to put the pellet. That helicopter tail tells me that was a good headshot. Now, just to the right hand side, over that little brow of the hill, I had a look up there with a the thermal and I spotted all of this. Now those little dots you see in there are rat heat signatures. So each one of those is a rat wandering around on the roadside. 
These are some of the juveniles out playing. Clearly just come out of the nest, come off for free feed in a play, a bit socialise. This video is shot on the 2nd of March, so it's still quite early on in the year. This one won't be playing with his friends anymore though. He's got other things in mind now. Have a little dirt nap before he rides his invisible bike off to heaven. There we go. Quick sweep around. Don't see anything else there at the moment. Short time later though, this one sticks his head out. Take the shot, upper body shot. I, to be honest, I was going for the head, but the shot fell a bit short. So you see he's in pain there. Need to get him finished off as quickly as possible. There we go, lights out. He's not coming back from that. Spot this one hiding in the hedgerow. Maybe it's mummy looking after our babies. I wonder what's going through our mind. <laughs> A GSB pellet, that's what's going through my mind. Happy with that. If that was Mammy Rat, she's not going to be procreating any more. We've had enough of your sort around here. This one didn't go quite to plan. Took the shot. I don't know what happened there. I think I may have pulled the rifle. Second shot. Just need him to settle down. Just not going to rush. I will get a chance because he's only walking distance if he hides. Third shot. There we go. That's powered him down. Quite a big chap, actually. Very big, in fact, quite heavy. So, because that didn't land on a headshot, you can see why he took it. This one wasn't in a very good position to take the shot and I had too much cant on the rifle so I was trying to correct the cant leaning in the mud that I was in and before I got a chance to sort my crap out he does a runner never mind he will live another day not only had I walked up the road and I shot some juveniles at the end of the track after I'd done that I turned around and started to walk back I was only about five minutes or so and they're already coming back out from behind me looking for food. I offer up a pellet. He took that well, I think. Drop in a second shot just because I can and because he went down quite quick. I saw the tail move, so I was happy at the time it was a headshot, but he lay still for a little bit too long, so I dropped in an insurance shot just to be on the safe side. Just a few yards further along from where that one's taken a dirt nap, these two come out to play. One of them comes out too far, for him, not for me. Line up, there's the shot. Knock that one straight down. The other one bolts off to the entrance of the nest. Kind of, what the hell's going on? What are you doing? Why are you jumping around like that? He goes off inside to tell his mummy. And there we go keeled over at the foot of the nest, at the foot of the rock face. I'm happy with that. I spotted this one by the entrance of one of the buildings. So I pinged him, got the distance, ready to take the shot. And when I did take the shot, I ended up shooting him with a puff of compressed air. What just happened? So I had a look, there you go. I had a look and I thought maybe I didn't load one of the slots of the magazine. So I took a second shot, same again. Then I remembered I only had one shot left in the magazine, but when I was clearing up the rats from further down the road, I forgot to swap the magazine over. What an idiot. But, changed it over, loaded it, did that. He looked happy with that. Big forward tumble there, big celebratory roll. Oh wait, it was a death roll. And I spot this to my right hand side after hearing a squeak. If I can see a tiny bit of eye shine in amongst all that undergrowth, I know exactly where the pellet needs to go. And there's a little thermal image of him. Just taking a little nap under all that undergrowth. Good night overall. Dirty dozen. I shot 12. I didn't put them all on the video because some of them were too far away and it couldn't have got the full footage on the camera. But it was 12 overall. Very happy with that. 
If you enjoyed the video and you don't already subscribe, please consider subscribing, hit that bell for notifications. See you on the next one. Thanks for watching.